Rachel, and I think axes are probably the scariest weapon. Da -na -na, da -na -na -na. This October, I am watching a new classic horror movie every day and looking away if it gets too scary. Movie number 30, The Shining. I have not slept in a month. We open on landscape shots. Jack meets with the owner of the Overlook Hotel. He's moving in for the winter with wife Wendy and son Danny. Danny has an imaginary friend, Tony. Tony talks like this. <sighs> I can't do it, but you get it. In 1970, the hotel caretaker, Grady, had a complete breakdown and killed his entire family. Jack just wants to write for the winter. Tony does not want to go to the hotel. Elevator blood, twin girls, the family goes to the hotel. Chef Mr. Halloran tells Danny that they both have The Shining, AKA telepathy. Danny asks about room 237 and Mr. Halloran says to stay out. A month later. Danny rides around on his tricycle. Jack and Wendy love the hotel. There's a huge hedge maze. Danny trikes past room 237. He does not go in. Jack types away. He is so hostile to Wendy. Jack watches his family play in the snow like a fucking creep. The phones are down. Danny sees the twins. Come play with us forever and ever and ever. Jack tells Danny, I wish we could stay here forever and ever and ever, just like the twins. Danny goes to room 237. Jack dreams about killing his family. Something chokes Danny. Jack sits at the hotel bar in the gold room. He says he'd give his soul for a beer. A bartender appears. Wendy tells Jack that a crazy woman tried to strangle Danny. Mr. Halloran has The Shining in Miami. Danny foams at the mouth. Jack goes into room 237. <laughs> Danny's mouth is like, like evil home alone. Jack goes to the gold hall, which is now full of people. He meets a waiter named Grady, like the guy who killed his family. Grady urges him to talk to his wife and son. Danny starts shouting, red rum, red rum. Does Tony talk like this? Ugh, I can't do that voice. Jack disables the radio and the snowcat tractor. Mr. Halloran returns to Colorado. Wendy sees Jack's novel. It just says all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy over and over and over and over. Jack, ugh. She locks him in a storage room. Grady chastises Jack for not having killed his family yet. Danny writes red rum on the door. Red rum, murder backwards, we all know that. Jack, Danny, Jack. Wendy, here's Johnny. Mr. Halloran arrives in his tractor. <sighs> there are ghosts. Danny runs into the hedge maze. Jack follows. Ghosts, skeletons, a guy in a bear suit. Danny is so smart. The blood elevator for real. <sighs> Wendy and Danny escape the hotel. Jack freezes to death. Back in the hotel, jazz music plays. We zoom in on a photo from 1921. Jack is front and center. Whew. Overall, I give this one a very warm two out of five stars. It's a classic for a reason. It's freaking creepy. See you tomorrow for movie number 31. The final chapter. Uh, no, it just sounds like I'm doing a nerd voice.